Hello everybody. Today we're going to create phone case designs in bulk using AI. We're going to use ChatGPT to get our prompts, Midjourney to generate our images, and Photoshop to create our patterns and finally batch create our mockups. So without further ado, let's start designing. First things first, we need some Midjourney prompts to create patterns easily. So I'm asking ChatGPT to give us 20 Midjourney prompts following this template. This will make it easier for us to pump out a lot of patterns quickly. I'll click send and wait for the results. Okay, we have a few options for us to use. So I'm gonna pick out a couple of these then head to Discord for some Midjourney prompting. I'm now in Discord and I've opened up a chat with the Midjourney bot. I copied one of the prompts that ChatGPT gave us and I will hit the imagine command and simply paste in our prompt and hit enter. Once Midjourney generates the images for us, I'm gonna go ahead and upscale each one of these and wait for the results. Now that all of these are upscaled, I'm going to open this in my browser and save these in a folder altogether. I went ahead and ran some more Midjourney prompts, and now we have a good collection of images to use for our patterns. However, each of these is a single image as of right now, and we still need to convert these to patterns before we put them on phone cases. So we're gonna head into Photoshop now to easily do just that. Now we're in Photoshop, but before we go any further, we need to download a set of actions that I've already created to help us automatically create patterns for multiple images at once. I have this set up for download for free in the description, so make sure you have that downloaded and installed using the instructions on there first. Once that's done, creating patterns with the script is as easy as going to File, Scripts, image processor. In here, we want to make sure the folder where our Midjourney extracts are is selected. And then the folder where we want our final patterns to go is selected over here as well. And lastly, we want to make sure the action we installed is selected over here. And that's it. We hit run and it creates our patterns for us. We finally have a set of patterns that we can use for our phone cases. All that's left is to get these mocked up and then we could finally post them on our preferred print on demand website. For our mockup, we're going to be using this iPhone 14 Photoshop mockup made by Anthony Boyd. Please check out their website through the link in the description. Now, since we want to batch create mockups, we need to use another script to help us out. I found one that helps do just that and I will link to it in the description as well. Once you have all your materials downloaded, we want to click on our smart object layer over here that says edit this then go to file, scripts, browse, and then select the downloaded scripts file from your folder. Once we select our JSX file, it's going to prompt us to select our images that we want to be used in the mockup. So make sure to head to the folder where your final patterns are and select everything. Once that's done, hit OK and it will mock everything up for you. Your final images will be saved in the same folder as this PS file. And there you go. Now we have all of our patterns mocked up on our iPhone cases and ready to upload to our print on demand websites and publish to start selling. Let me know below what kind of designs you've been playing around with and mocking up. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe for content similar to this. It's been J.
Jam Design, and I'll see you in the next one.